What's up guys, Royale with Cheese here and welcome to another episode of ARK from Syntax Cluster Server. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today. So a couple things. Cheese is feeling a little bit under the weather. So if I sound a little bit sniffly and coffee and gross during the video today, I apologize for that. On the bright side, Cheese has gotten a new mic. Uh, hopefully it sounds better. But if that sounds weird, then I also apologize for that. <laughs> Um, again, last ep if you watched last episode, we had a huge disaster episode. We lost our, our super cool 100% imprinted mutated RG, but we hatched up this guy and we couldn't get an imprint on him because he wanted kibble right away. So this is the one we hatched last episode with zero imprint. Um, I wanted to hatch a whole mess of RGs today, but I'm not sure if they changed something about the way ARC works or, uh, I'm not sure, but I left my RGs... Uh, breeding for two days and I got on and I had five eggs so I don't know if they only breed now if someone's like on and near them I'm I, we used to be able to leave them and they would breed and then we could come back and have a bunch of eggs later but apparently that's not working at least not on this server currently so if you guys like this video please do me a huge favor and smash that like button and for more daily video game awesomeness don't forget to subscribe okay so you might be wondering, Cheese, why are you in the Redwoods? Well, here's the plan that I planned for today. I'm gonna, I came out to the Redwoods. I was going to look around for a Thylacoleo. We have a female that we tamed. I don't know if that was last episode episode before. We had a nice uh, th female Thylacoleo we tamed. So we're going to find a male Thyla. Bring that home. Make them hump. Take that baby. Imprint it. Raise it up. Hopefully, then we're going to go over to Extinction and try to do a blue drop so that we can get cryopods so that we don't have to walk our Rexes and Udys across the map and walk face first into a Giga like last happened, like happened last episode. So that's the plan for today, which brings us to why we're here, which is this guy. Hopefully he's still here after all this talking I've done. He was on this tree... And now he's not there. Um, there is a very nice, kind of average looking color. Oh, there he is. 180, male, Thyla right here. So we're going to grab this guy, swoop him up, zoom, go back to the pen, breed, hopefully tame him up. Oh, by the way, um, I don't tell him. I went over to Syntax Base and I stole eight UD eggs. Don't tell him. <laughs> Nobody tell him. But I went over and stole eight UD eggs. So that I, I only need four kibble to tame this guy, but I wanted to have enough just in case um, I found multiple high levels or whatever. You never know what's going to happen. So I made up eight kibble before the episode and I stole the eggs from Syntax. So don't tell him. But we're going to bring this guy back to the pen, get him tamed up, and then continue with our plan of world domination. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're rolling up on the taming pen. Barely enough hell, uh, stamina to get there. Hopefully we... And we've done it. Get in there. Okay. Land. Are you on passive? You're on passive. All right, good. Let's get this dude knocked out. Wha pow! What's up, guy? Now, you might think this is bad news because you're getting shot with a trank dart. But I'm going to give you apparently your favorite food of all time. And then I'm going to make you hump. So it's really not that bad. You really shouldn't be taking it as badly as you are. Hopefully, I know it would be nice if we got some shocking trank darts. We're going to have to, we have so much stuff to do. We have to keep uh, working. I really want to get, we really need Rexes and Udys so we can make our own kibble. And then we'll be able to make all the kibbles, which will be really good. And then we got to start getting some uh, high quality dinos around here. But we need cryopods because obviously walking them across the map is not going to work. It'd be okay for like a high level guy, although even a high level Rex would have gotten murdered by that Giga we ran into. Also, we have to avenge ourselves on that Giga somehow. 
I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll make up some flaming arrows and go stand on the cliff above them and just burn them. We don't need the water. Let the mother giga burn. Burn mother giga. All right. Oh, that got weird. Make a note. We're gonna edit that part out of part of the video out. It's a little strange. Okay. There we go. And he's out. They like have the coolest lay down and uh, uh, whatever. I don't. <laughs> The coolest lay down um, animation. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, we're going to tame this guy up and then we're going to be back and we will go over and make them hump and have a sweet baby. Maybe we'll get super lucky and get another imprint. Uh, I'm so bummed that we lost our nice imprinted RG and we got this not nice, not imprinted RG. We're going to have to do something about that too, but we'll be back in a little bit. And he's up, he's up, he's up. The 180. Chyla. Okay, the 180 Chyla is born. Hello. Hello, Chyla. Alright, let's get this guy over in humping distance. Ha 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 ha. Oh, look at him turn around perfect. Oh, look. Look it. He knows what's up. There you go. And behavior enable mating, and it's time. They're doing it. Are they doing it? They're doing it. Woo! They're, hold on. Yep, yep. Engorged genitals. They're definitely doing it. All right. Uh, we're gonna let them do this. We're gonna come back when it's baby hatching time, and we're back. All right. This guy. We're about to have a baby here. And I also grabbed the five RG eggs that we have. We might as well, if we're going to be raising babies, we might as well raise babies. All right, that guy came out at 263, which is not an amazing level, but whatever. Well, we can at least try to imprint him. Uh, disable wandering, and... Oh, I forgot to grab meat. Whatever. Take my meat. All right, so we're going to raise this guy up. He's going to just chill. And while we're doing that, we might as well hatch these other ones, so... Maybe we'll get lucky on a decent RG here. Um, oh, look it! Look it! We got a super cheesy RG! Hold on. Get, I don't care about all you other RGs. Look at this guy! Wait, come here. Eh, eh. What? Let be my cheesy RG! Look it! Oh, yes! This guy's even better than the other one we had. He's so cheesy! Oh my god. Okay. All these, are there any of these like crazy high levels or anything? 271, that's not bad. 271, 271. Um, I guess we'll keep the 271s just for like breeding purposes. I don't know. And we seem to be killing RG, so anytime probably an extra RG couldn't hurt. Oh, uh, let's whistle passive on everything. And here we go. Kill all these babies. But oh, look at we got that super cheesy guy. How awesome is that? I'm super pumped. Hopefully we can get 100% imprint on that guy, and that'll be our new, our new RG. He's all cheesy. Right, we gotta handle the baby problem. Baby, stop it! Why can't I? Oh, that's the one me. Never mind. Get killed, babies! All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess here. We're gonna work on imprinting these guys, and I'll bring you guys back uh, when it's time to get some imprinting done. Again, I'm not using the nanny, so in case. Anybody's like, what? Why don't you just use the nanny cheese? Like, you get 100% imprint. Uh, for me, that takes some of the fun out of the game. I want to have the challenge of actually getting an imprint, and when I finally get the 100% imprint, it's, like, uh, really exciting for me. I don't know. I feel like I'm weird. Most people don't agree. I have the same conversation on my personal servers. People are just, just think I'm crazy, but uh, I don't know. I don't like the nanny. I think it's more fun to play without it. So I'm not using the nanny. So we're going to try to get an imprint the old-fashioned style on these guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. It's imprinting time. Come on, we need we really need a good imprint on the Silas so we can take him to do the the blue drop, hopefully, on extinction. A walk. Perfect. All right, we can do this. Come on, guy. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. We're going to imprint. Uh, the RGs are just a little bit behind, so we're going to have to imprint them as well. Come on, guy. Oh, my God. I hate it when they just, oh there we go 
Oh, look at how cute. Who's your cutie boy? Okay. So he's good. Come here, man. Come back over here. We're gonna park you in our little baby parking line of imprinting goodness. Come in. Come back here. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Stay, stay. Relax, relax. Okay, these guys. Uh, oh, good. The cheesy RG wants a walk. These guys need care in 20 seconds. All right, come on, cheesy RG. Come on, man. I'm super excited about this yellow RG, guys. I wanted to uh, make a mutated yellow RG at some point. I can't believe we got it, like, really first hatch. That's crazy. We only had five eggs, and one of them is, like, an almost all yellow RG. All right, come on. Get imprinted already. Are you stuck? Oh, God. Are you stuck on the other ones? What do you want? Cooked prime meat. Okay, we can do that. And cooked prime fish meat. Okay, hold on. We gotta get this guy. We gotta get this guy on his walk. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, there he goes. Come on, walk with us, buddy. Do it. Come on. Get the imprint already. Oh, I hate walking RGs. They take... They walk super slow, and sometimes you have to walk them, like, ages before they... Did he get it? Was that it? Are you just eating? What's happening? Did you just get imprinted? No, he still wants to go on walk. Come on, man! Why do you hate me? Get... Come on! OMG, this is taking ages! Are you... Are you serious? How far am I supposed to walk you? Like, what? I don't even know what's happening right now. Like, there he goes. Okay. We got that guy imprinted. We got, and these guys want cooked prime and cooked fish. Pretty sure we have that as well. So first imprint down. Let's see. Pull, cooked, prime fish. We don't have a lot, but we have it. Cooked prime meat. Oh, no. We don't have any cooked prime meat. Do we have any raw prime meat? Oh, we do. Okay. So we'll pull this. Pull. We'll have to cook that up. All right, we're gonna cook that up. Feed these guys. Uh, this guy wants the cooked prime fish meat. We have that. Boom. Get this. We're gonna cook this guy up some meat, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we go. It's imprinting time again. That guy still got two minutes though. Come on, baby. Come on. Cuddle with daddy. Cuddle me. Cuddle me. Medjo berry. Okay, we can do that. Uh, do you have medjo berries? No. The who has medjo berries? I need medjo berries immediately. Where's uh, super cheese whip? Medjo berries, nailed it. Uh. Come on, run, run, cheese, run. Yeah, yeah. And medjo berry, last slot, nailed it. All right, this guy's still got a couple minutes. We're not going to wait around and show those, but we're going to keep imprinting, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. It's imprinting time again. We're at 40%, so two imprints down, three to go. What do we got here? A walk. Love it. Come on, man. Walk with us. Come on. And I like it so much better when they just, like, go for a tiny little walk and get imprinted. Come on! Oh, there he goes! Oh, who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Alright, we're 60% imprinted, we're gonna keep working on this guy. Uh, we got full imprint on everybody so far, nobody's wanted any kibble or anything crazy. Um, as you can see, what are the, what's this guy at? 40% and 40%. So we're going to keep working on these guys, and we'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we're back again. It's imprint time. So far, uh, we're on track on all of them still, 100% imprint. They just wanted walks. That one RG wanted it, and it is Woolberry for some reason. A cuddle! Oh, who's your cuddly guy? Who's my big cuddly boy? Oh, give me a kiss. All right. Um, so we still got time on these guys. But still going good, 60% on all of them so far. This guy is close to um, behind, though, because he wanted a walk, and then he wanted prime meat that I had to cook, so he's close. This one's on the edge, but 
So far, we're on track to get 100% imprint on everything, and we'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we're back. It's almost imprint time. Um, I made up some kibble. This yellow bird wanted regular kibble last time. So I made up one of each kibble. This guy's actually really close. We're at 97% maturation. If we if he needs exceptional kibble, we're going to be in big trouble. So as long as he needs anything but exceptional kibble, we should be okay. A cuddle. Boom. 100% imprint. We've done it. We've done it. Boom. 100% imprinted Thyla. Ooh, imprinted Thyla dance. Hold on. We got to... Imprinted Thyla dance. Yeah, my package looks really good from this angle. I mean, what? All right. So we're still working on these guys, but yeah, this guy wanted kibble last time. If it was either of these twos, I wouldn't have given him kibble, but because it was the yellow one, I just felt like I should. So I made up one of each of the kibbles that we can actually make. Um, yeah, and uh, we had the um, extraordinary kibble from earlier for taming the thylus. So we had those already from the eggs we stole from Syntac. The only ones we didn't have was the Rex eggs one. So if, if he had wanted that, we would have been in big doo-doo. But yeah, we're good other than that. So we're going to hang out, imprint these guys, let this guy get fully mature. I don't think we have a good saddle, unfortunately. And then we'll probably take the one of these RGs, whatever one gets full imprint, and the Thyla, and head over to Extinction and start looking for a blue drop. Well, we're going to level up a little bit first. Maybe run around and kill some things on Extinction, get leveled up. Then we're going to go look for a blue drop. But we'll be right back. And we're back! Okay. Everybody's all grown up. I made saddles for everybody. So everybody's all saddled up. Unfortunately, I don't have a nice saddle blueprint. That would have been really, really nice. Um, we're going to bring one of the RGs just to like aerial recon around and try to find a drop. I feel like it'll be a lot easier than trying to run around on a Thyla. I've also repaired my armor. I uh, brought a set of desert cloth for out in the wastelands where it's really hot. We have some food. I'm going to bring some tranks and... Um, narcotics just in case we already have our bed made all over there uh, I'd love to bring our owl but again we only have the one and I really don't want to risk it until we get another one and can breed it so here we go we're gonna grab this guy we're gonna fly over to the obelisk and head over to extinction and uh, I'll bring you guys back when we find a hopefully find a blue drop we'll be right back all right guys we're back I found a blue drop here we go it's time. Uh, I thought I was going to use the RG, but I've just been traveling around on the Thyla, actually. We could have just left the RG at home. Uh, leveling him up. We killed an Alpha Raptor, so we've actually got quite a few levels going. And let's see if we can do this. I'm a little nervous. I've never done one of these by myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit kind of freaked out, to be honest. I really, this would be so helpful if we can get some of these... Um, Cryopods, that's what they're called. We could really use some cryopods. It would make taming and moving dinos around so much easier. So let's see. Luckily, the corrupted raptors don't pounce, I don't believe. I'm just going to parole the per perimeter here. I don't think we're going to get anything too crazy on these. I hope. I'm okay if we lose a bit of the... Oh, we better take care of this guy. Even though he's not going to attack the the thing he's probably gonna attack us so if you guys have never done these before um when you go close to it it activates and then it spawns this shield or tech force field around the outside and it draws all the corrupted dinos into it and all the corrupted dinos come in here and attack as you can see and they start kicking on the force field eventually the force field will go down and then you have to defend the thing in the middle and if you can survive all the way until the end uh, then you get loot drop from this. And usually you get quite a few cryopods and then some other gear. Sometimes it's pretty good. Uh, there's different qualities of loot drops. This is the easiest one. And then the hardest ones, for whatever reason, you would think would be red. But they're actually not the hardest ones. The hardest ones are purple. Um, if you look at the thing, I think it tells you how many are left in the wave or something. Is that a thing still? Uh, is one hostile remaining. This is wave zero. Okay, so... There's one, there's one corrupted guy somewhere. And sometimes they get like stuck behind a rock. They might not even necessarily be fighting the thing. So we got to look around here. Um, where are you at? One corrupted guy. Hmm. 
I don't see him at all. Where is he? Are you over here? No. Okay, so we're getting so perfect. It's like borked out. There's one stuck somewhere. So sometimes this happens. So they like if they whenever they spawn in, they might be just like stuck running into a rock like there somewhere or wherever. Kill these guys. Maybe it's one of these guys. Tell your friends. Come to the thing and they die. Maybe it's that gas bag. Seriously, gas bag, get out of my way. Beat it. Okay, we've done it. Was it the gas bag? I think that means we. Yeah, all right, we completed the first stage. Let's do this. Bring it on. The only things we really uh, would be worried about probably is a T Rex because they know they spawn, or the Pteranodons could be uh, an issue because of course they fly, and we're on a Thyla that of course does not fly, so. That could be a bit of an issue. We're doing okay on health. How we doing? Okay, we got some Carnos. Carnos are no real problem. But it gets harder and harder. You do that when you do the harder drops, you can get like wyvern, corrupted wyverns, and all right. See now we've got issues. We got a bunch of trainons hitting it. We can't hit them. All right, we got that guy. There's like a bunch of trainons up there. We can't hit. Get these guys. Come here. Get wrecked by cheese. Get wrecked by cheese. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Turn it on, we can't hit. Oh, now they're in. Okay, we have no no force field left. So now we gotta We gotta fight for our right to party here. Let's try to keep these guys off of the actual shields. No, 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 no. I mean, not the shield, the actual drop. Come here. Okay, we're doing fine. All the dillos. We can. They just keep sending armies of dillos. We'll be alright. Come here. Oh, terrain and arms are gonna be a pain. I should have brought my gun. I didn't think of that. I just. I brought my gun, but I only brought tranks. So I guess I should I should have said I should have brought my bullets. Bullets would have been helpful. Oh, there's a Dillo here hitting it. And you gotta be careful because you can actually hit it yourself. So you wanna not be hitting it. Anybody on it? Okay, we're good. How many are we? Five hostiles remaining in this wave. Where are they at, man? Alright, this part gets annoying where they just keep getting stuck. Is it like the Stego over here? I see a corrupted Stego. Like, kind of looks like it's stuck over here. Are you one of them? Are you our guy? Are you one of the ones? I feel like no. Where do they go, man? Gas bag, you're not it. Down here. Hmm. Well. Let's still say. Four. Four hostiles remaining. Okay, well. I might... Um, clearly, I'm going to be cutting some of this out, I guess, because this is uh, annoying and probably no fun to watch. Me just running around in a circle looking for corrupted dinos that aren't making their way to the thing. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's a T-Rex. Ah! Attack! No, 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 You don't get to. No, no, you. No. You stay over here. Thank you. Are we? How are we doing now? Still four remaining. What? Where the heck are they? Hmm.
All right, we're down to one hostile remaining now. One. They just like taking a long time to come on, man. We don't have all. Oh, here must be this guy. Ha ha! See you. Is that him? That wasn't him. Come on, game. What the heck is happening? Why is this so borked? This isn't usually this borked. For whatever reason, there must be a like a spot they're getting stuck around here. They also like. I don't know. And I'm like on it, right? What the heck? Okay, I guess we did it. I don't know how, but okay, we did it again. I'm okay. That was weird. I don't even think we killed anymore. But okay. Maybe it doesn't count until the body is gone. Maybe there was a dead body somewhere. I'm not really sure how this works. I guess. No, no, no. No, no, no. You die now. You die. You die now too. You die. You die. Maybe you have to like fight a certain amount of er no enemies, and if they're just not enough corrupted around, they. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know how it works. Tyler's doing quite well, though. Oh, there's a lot of dillos. Oh, boy. No, no, no. The, my main issue is trying not to hit the thing, to be honest. I just don't want to hit the, hit the drop. That's a lot of <laughs> That's a lot of dillos. Oh, my God. The corrupted dillos are real. How are we doing? Four hostiles remaining. Oh, there's one underneath. Okay. So there's three remaining. What if I eat this body? Does it go down to two remaining? No. Where? Man, this is so annoying. It gets to, like, the first part's fine, and then we get down to the end, and we have to, like... Look around for ages to find the last guy. You one? Maybe. What are we doing now? Two remaining, okay. Maybe they spawn like a little ways away and it takes them a while to get it there. I don't know. There's one left though. Oh. Okay. They just phased into existence, these guys? Was it you guys? What was that, by the way? Like invisible magic raptors? What? Uh, so another fun thing you can do if you have a whip on this map, I didn't bring one with me, but all the uh, loot popcorns everywhere at the end. And if you have a whip, you can just literally steal all the loot. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> and, and people get super aggravated about it. But yeah, if you ever want to mess with anybody, if you're doing uh, this on like official or something, and 
You just want to get all the loot? Use a whip and whip up all the loot. People don't enjoy it, though, when you do that. All right. Come on. There's one guy stuck somewhere. Oh, there we go. We did it. Like, I don't know why that keeps happening. Like, We don't do anything and it just ends. Okay, what do we got this time? This train and I coming at us, bro. It's clearly Raptor ra Raptor wave. Raptor Raptor wave. Oh no. No no no. You stay away. You too. No 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 no. No no no. No mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is my drop. You guys stay away from this. I need these I need these cryopods. No, oh, please stop. Please stop hitting the thing. Please, please stop. Thank you. Please stop. Please stop. Oh my god. It's a lot of dillos again. Dillo army. This guy without hitting the drop. There's a raptor hitting it. Nee, 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 nee. And this guy. Clean up the corpses. I don't know if that matters or not. How are we doing? Five remaining. We're at 7,500 health, basically. We're doing okay. We should have two waves left after this one. And we have three quarters of the thing's health left, so we're we're doing good. We did it! Finally, there was a terrain hunt swirling around and back. Gah! Okay. What on earth? Okay, wave four of five. Two waves left. So far, super easy. You know, the biggest struggle has been finding the last couple to get the round to finish. Oh, we've done it okay final wave wave five if we succeed here we're gonna get the loots hopefully we get a good amount of cryopods and maybe even something else good i don't know i forget how good the loot can be here maybe we'll get lucky and get something good i don't know and yeah oh. it definitely hit you okay okay so far so good, so far so good. We got a bunch of dudes coming that way and that way. Just a bunch of stegos. This is like the stego wave. Stego army attack. Stegos and delos, stegos and delos. Raptor please, raptor please. Stego stop that. No, new. No. Okay, all right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's get this guy off the drop without hitting the drop. Okay. Right, we're good. Lots of dillos. Lots of dillos. No problem. More dillos. How are we doing? Five hostiles remaining again. Okay. I think we're going to do it pretty easily, actually. But now we know we can do this pretty easily with one of these. I wonder if we could do like the next up drop, which I think is yellow drops. I think. All right, now's the fun part where we have to look all around for whatever one is stuck somewhere. Yes, maybe it could be him. Are you part of the disaster guy? Is that what's happening? Oh no! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Syntec just scared my poop out. Good God. Oh, this is one here. Oh my God. Whew. That was unexpectedly terrifying.
should be there's one guy left <laughs> I can't believe he did that you why you oh he's got his own Tyler That it? Still one. We've done it! We have done it! Great success! <laughs> yeah, we did. We sure did. We... <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Alright, give me the loot. Eject items. Uh, do it. Bam. Ah, amazing loot. Give it, give me the loot. Okay. Oh, yes, the cryopods. Oh, cryopods. Yes. Oh, all right. We got, all right, we got some dumb stuff. All right, we're already overburdened. We don't need uh, regular stone foundations or regular foundations or dinosaur gates. That's trash. Okay. And... Mastercraft crossbow, some Freya curry, and that's it. Okay. We did great. So, basically, we got four cryopods, some element shards, some element dust, a, a pike that's actually better than ours, some polymer, rare flowers, an apprentice pistol, a journeyman dodic, and a Mastercraft crossbow. So, not too bad. Oh, yeah. Tribe missing daddy. Uh, traditional GE tribing. Tribe me. Tribe me. Okay. Woo! Tribe party. <laughs> Fair trade. We're out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're out of here. So we did it. We made it over to Extinction. We uh, completed a blue drop, which is really great. And now we have some cryopods so that we'll be able to transport our dinos. It's really, really awesome. But now we're going to head back to uh, Ragnarok. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. And we're back. Okay, guys, we're back from uh, Extinction. And look what we can do. Look what we can do now. Boom, that's right. We have cryopods. It's amazing. We had a, quite the adventure over there. And we finally have cryopods now, which is really great. Oh, man, what a day. Murder, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Uh, not too much. We went over to Extinction. Oh, we made a new Thyla baby. We got some cryopods now. Oh, man. It was a very successful day, actually. What's up with you? Um, not too much. Hey, what's hard and dry when it goes in? It comes out soft and wet. I, I don't think I want to hear the end of murder. I don't think you should probably say this. Bubblegum. <laughs> you got a dirty mind. You know that? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like this episode, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for your own night uh, server like I use, make sure and check out my Nitrato link down below. And if you haven't already done so, come and watch me play Ark and other games live on Twitch every single day. I'd love to see you guys there and hang out and talk with you. But I'll see you guys next time. Cheese and murder and the Chyla and... The Chinese and the Chatter out.